Welcome to the Power Hour with me and Gene. Me and Gene. Do you want to be more productive and achieve your goals? Do you want to find your passion and live with purpose? Do you want to make a profit and enjoy your success? Then you need to listen to the Power Hour with me and Gene. Welcome to the Power Hour with me and Gene. Me and Gene. Welcome to the show, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mean Gene. And we got a special one for you today. We're going to really focus on productivity. Uh, thank you for uh, joining us. I really appreciate you from around the world and, and, and just coming in to check us out. You know, this is the early stages of our show. And we really want to focus on, you know, doing the things that I found to be very successful in my life. And so the first couple of episodes, I, I made them about productivity because I noticed that's something that everybody can use. So I got these quick little tips and tricks that have really helped you out and they worked for me. So, you know, hopefully they work for you. And I also got a special treat for you. Our AI assistant will also uh, chime in and kind of summarize things a little bit to end the show. So uh, we're in for a good show. Let's go. So let's get right into it. They say uh, tidying up uh, your workspace uh, and, and getting rid of clutter is a great way to improve the utility of the space that you're uh, that you're currently in it'll help your decision making as well and, and your overall well-being i mean i, I kind of believe that if you ever been to a person's home that's uh nice and immaculate and everything is organized and where it's supposed to be it's very easy for them to find what they need so they can move on even if they're just sitting in a living room getting uh, grabbing a good book or or grabbing a journal so they could actually start writing things down uh, they're just very effective um, in that manner. And the same thing for going to a person's home where everything is not so organized. Everything is not so clean. Uh, they have a hard time finding something as simple as a pencil um, because it's not right there <laughs> available. You know, there's, there's like a lack of efficiency there for something that small. So you can just imagine uh, for anything that's even much larger. So if you want to be productive, keep your keep your workspace and your area clean. It also helps clear your mind. All right. The next list here is mentioning um, you got to make a to do list. Uh, some people focus on making it a to do must list. That's what I like to focus on. Like what are three things that you must do uh, before the end of the day to really get it going the way you want to? And that's kind of how I do it. It really helps uh, increase productivity and has it has shown to, you know, when you have a uh, when you have a grocery list, that's a small example. You have a grocery list. You go to the store, you're actually going to save. I mean, it might take a little longer, but you're going to actually save a lot of money. But once you get good, you get a lot faster. You got 15 things in that list. And then once you start knowing the layout of the store, man, you knock out those 15 things. You're in and out in no time saving a lot of money not buying things that are outside of that list so imagine making a to-do list for just your normal daily life it's the same process checking it off just like that grocery list or crossing it off once it's done it's done and you could actually move on and you know it's done because you actually crossed it off and you don't have to worry about it in the future you're not going to be thinking about oh did i get the milk oh okay it's crossed off checked mark okay uh, yeah done <laughs> those are just the little things like Making a to-do list is massively important. And if you're good at it, you could probably start doing it mentally. You know what I'm saying? Because it's only three things. If you could keep three things in your mind that must be done. But once it gets to like four or five, I recommend you start writing it down. And it has helped me massively. And I think it's going to help you too. Uh, they also say to focus on one task at a time. Now, <laughs> uh, this is a little controversial, but I do believe that men cannot focus on too many things at the same time. But yet the female mind can focus on multiple things at the same time. Now, I'm not saying that's efficient, but they have the capacity to think about more things than one and focus on more things than one. And men, we like to focus on one or two things and kind of just knock it out and be real focal on it. So if you can focus on one thing at a time, just in human nature, male or female, if you're giving 100% of your time and focus on something that you feel needs to get done, my friend, trust me, it will get done. You'll be more productive 
if you stay at that task instead of trying to switch back and forth and do multiple tasks. I'll give you an example. Uh, when I worked at a bank a long time ago, um, I created like a little checklist of the things that I had to do. But my error was trying to do all three to four things at the same time and not giving them the individual attention that they needed. So, yes, some of them got done 25 percent. Some of them got done 50 percent. But you start to see that the things that you needed to get done 100 percent never actually happened. So I had to create a new style where I was able to focus on one thing at a time and not switch back and forth so many times. And if you are going to switch back and forth, get that one thing 100% of the time and try to knock it out. Try to figure out how much time you need and knock it out. It's all about knocking things out, man. That's how you become very productive out here. And if you have a task that you want to focus on one at a time and you're starting to create a little checklist, the next thing they say to do is block out a time in your schedule. And that is the number one advice when it comes to this show. And that's why we call it the power hour. You need to take one hour out of your day, every day, and focus on your passion, um, things that you're being very productive in, uh, something that you find very appealing, uh, something that you, you, you think can actually even sustain you and your family in the future. It only takes that one hour. Now, if you're going to do it for uh, other things at your job, just focus on the blocked schedule that you actually made for that task. Uh, a lot of people have been known to do this and it works. Some people call it time boxing. Um, you can use it in your email. You can put chunks of things to do. Uh, it, it works great for not putting things off because you have a certain a lot of time for when you're going to do that task. That thing has worked for me and I hope it works for you as well. I got a couple more here. Uh, try the Pomodoro technique, which is it's very simple. It's a 30 minute block segment, kind of related to what we said before, where 25 minutes is 100 percent focus. And then you take a little five minute break. All right. And then you get right back into it and give yourself another 25 minutes of pure focus. Like you don't understand how focused you can become and 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 knock things out instead of, you know, going back and forth, back and forth and not focusing on anything for the long haul. That's that's what separates a lot of people here. They're able to focus on one thing and one thing and knock it out. And then you 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 can't really get mad at people who do that, you know, and a lot of people do get mad at them. They're like, how the heck did this person do this? How the heck did this person do that? Well, it's because they have a certain focus level that you don't have. And they also are persevering with it and they stick to it for the long haul. Uh, and let, let's let's move on. We got a few more. Uh, these two I, I really appreciate. It's learning to say no. Um, right now, I am producing music. Uh, I'm I'm finishing writing my ebook, uh, my audio book. So there's a lot of things that need to be done. And a lot of my friends and family and and business partners from my old new associates, old associates, you know, they know of my skills. They know there's certain things that I could do that they can't. And sometimes they will call or email or, or say, can you do this and can you do that? And sometimes you just got to be like, hey, I, I can't do that right now. I'm focusing, you know, uh, it's Sunday night. It's Monday night. <laughs> I'm recording my podcast. You know, I don't have time to try to figure out something else for you when I have things that need to get knocked out and things to get done. It's a little selfish, but at the same time, who else is going to take care of you? You. <laughs> That's it. All right. The last one is uh, practice meditation. Meditation can help boost your productivity and improve your cognitive and motivation and your memory and especially your emotional intelligence. Now, these are the things that I use all the time to try to stay productive, and I hope they really resonate with you and, and help you out as well. All right. Once again, my name is Mean Gene. And I'm going to ask our AI assistant, what are some other ways that you can stay productive in your daily life? All right, Emily.ai, hit them with a little something, something. All right, guys, uh, I'll let her wrap it up, and I'll see you guys soon on the next show. All right, peace. I've been your host, Mean Gene. And stay on Verse and Vibes TV for more of our TV lineup. All right, peace out, and I'll see you again.
I'm happy to share some practical techniques for increasing productivity in daily life. Productivity is the ability to get things done efficiently and effectively. It can help you achieve your goals, reduce stress, and improve your well being. Here are some tips that can help you boost your productivity. Set three goals for the day. Forget to do lists. Make a must do list of three things you have to get done. Be realistic about what you can accomplish. Tidy up your workspace and get rid of clutter. A clean and organized environment can help you focus better and avoid distractions. Use a timer to keep yourself focused. Break down your tasks into smaller chunks and set a timer for each one. This can help you avoid procrastination and stay on track. Take short breaks to refresh your mind. Working for long periods without rest can lead to fatigue and burnout. Taking 15 minute breaks every hour or so can help you recharge your energy and motivation. Think in waves. Don't try to do everything at once. Instead, prioritize the most important and urgent tasks first, and then move on to the less important ones later. These are some of the strategies that can help you be more productive in daily life. I hope you find them useful and apply them to your own routine. Remember, productivity is not about doing more, but doing better. Thanks for tuning in to the Power Hour with me, Gene. You've been inspired and motivated by me, Gene. You've gained wisdom and secrets from Mean Gene. Mean Gene. Mean Gene.